Shopping sustainably can make all the difference in making the world a greener place. But when it comes to thrifting, where do you even start? Shopping secondhand is a process that takes time, so keeping an open mind is key. And Kristen Mariani and Catalina Carrasco with the School of the Art Institute of Chicago join us with some tips. Yes. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you, so you for much. having us. So I love what you guys are doing at the school mm -hmm. because we're not just teaching people how to be designers, but how to use things that we already have. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of sustainable fashion? Yes, I can. Uh, it's important to consider the resources yeah. of what makes clothing and what happens to the clothing after it is discarded. And the simple fact is, is that the Earth's landfills, it landfills yeah. are becoming this big bulging closet of discarded clothing. Oh, yeah. And we need to change our patterns of production. Right and consumption. So there's like mass production of, of clothing that isn't sustainable to begin with, then that fills landfills yeah. and then yeah. leftover materials as well. Yep. Um, hearing that also sometimes this leftover stuff gets burned too, which is not great. Yeah. So Kristen, yeah. you're teaching your students how to upcycle and Catalina, you're one of the students. Can yeah. you tell us, um, I mean, what has this meant for you in terms of design? In terms of design, it has given me an opportunity to work from what I have and using ideas as a form of sustainability as well um, and a, a mode of regeneration. Mm -hmm. um, so that has been integral to my practice and um, yeah. so far in, 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 in class. You're wearing one of your designs, right? Yes. Can you describe so what you have cute. on? Yes. So this is actually a two-piece. This mm -hmm. is a, a vest and a top um, that I sort of layered on top made out of leather jackets. Um, and I've sort of used different modes of stitching and restitching um, pieces together. I did some weaving as well of strips of leather and um, sort of exploring leather as skin uh -huh. and how uh, hmm. the scars and stitches sort of translate oh. into different I can kind of see it. And did you modes, thrift yeah. this stuff originally? Yes. To upcycle it? Yes, okay. as an assignment with Kristen um, in her in Fashion Design 1. I take yeah. all of my Fashion Design 1 students on a field trip mm -hmm. to a thrift store. My oh. favorite, my oh, lucky wow. thrift store, Village Thrift in Anderson. Oh, yes. oh my a, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> they okay, all, they so get a shopping cart. They start going through the aisles and gathering their new raw material. Mm. And then do you bring all of that back and throw it on a table and say, like, here are some ideas or here are some things you can do? Or do you guys already in your head have those ideas <laughs> rocking? It's very, like, initial and instinctual and going with your gut when yeah. you're initially in the thrift store. You can't really plan. So a lot of it is just, like, touching, feeling, mm. the color. Mm -hmm. um, and I just instinctually chose leather and um so and that's kind of what you have to roll with yeah and catalina yeah. how long did this take you to sew and des design and sew yeah so uh i would say yeah about like two three weeks wow. i would say in terms mm -hmm. of like that's fast that's impressive yeah and in terms of generating ideas it's it can be fun to work from something that's pre-existing um i find because it's like a puzzle piece you're rearranging it and, and kristen you yeah. say imperfection is okay I feel like Absolutely. we're all so used to it has to be so straight and we have to have it buttoned up, but no, yeah. embrace imperfection. Um, go with what you discover in the mm -hmm. process of taking things apart. Um, mm. Try lots of different possibilities out in the reconfiguration of yeah. these materials and pieces. Well, Kristen, let's take a look at some of the other looks um, as well. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Right. So up Come first, on up, our first we model. have student Parker Smith, a junior in the Department of Fashion Design. He is wearing, from my own label, oh, a nice. Redshift Tee Hee Tee She, mm -hmm. uh, created from repurposed graphics. And he is wearing the bottom part of a former leather trench coat. Oh, oh no it's kidding. No kidding. Wow. No kidding. It's modeled in the archetype of a kilt held together with a safety pin and... I was just gonna say kilt vibes, I yeah, love yeah, it. Kilt vibes. Very cool. And you can see the detail of the trench coat with the welt pocket that he's got his hands inside of right oh, now. Oh, very it. cool, yes. all right. Yes. Thank you so much. Let's see the next look. Next up, we have Isaiah Allen, also wearing a piece as a junior in the Department of Fashion Design at the School of the Art Institute. He found this in a Goodwill bin, attracted by its military green color. This was one piece, but he has split it into two. He took the lining of the trench coat 
and um, worked with its quilted details to create an under shawl. On the back, you'll see this really beautiful print oh, wow. of a poem created by one of um, an artist, one of the first blues recordings, an ode to a father lost in World War I. Oh, wow, wow. beautiful, and of yes. course that gorgeous, that goes so well with the army green too, fabulous. Yes. All right, yes. let's take a look at our and last And lastly, look. the trench coat theme continues. We need a red carpet for Raula Adeniti here. Yes. yes. Raula has taken two trench coats found on one of my field trips. She's taken, uh, she's kind of reconfigured the details, taking the lapel and collar around the neck of a trench coat, using it to create a flange around the bodice. You see all sorts of corseted details in there. She's taken the placket and spun it around her body and with that fullness created this beautiful couture-like pocket on her right side. Incredible. Yes. So gorgeous. Let's bring all the looks back out. Yay. Um, Kristen, Catalina, yes. thank you so much. These looks are absolutely incredible. Congratulations to all the students in your so, class. So cool to hey, see what you can make. Very <laughs> awesome. You can see these looks and more student art at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago's end of year shows. For more information, just head to saic.edu forward slash events or find them on Instagram. Thank, thank you all. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.